Do your job. Marcos here for FightHubTV.com, being joined by Strike Force Rising Heavyweight Shane Del Rosario. Shane, you guys, thanks for having me. Shane, thank you very much for being here with us. We're here at an amateur mixed martial arts event, Combat Fight League. I wanted to see how was Shane Del Rosario as an amateur coming up through the ranks. Oh, uh, well, actually. <laughs> we we saw Travis Brown just grabbed my ass, dude. This guy just grabbed my ass. What up, Shane? What up, Shane? I'm next. Don't worry. About it. Uh, well, actually, for uh, back then MMA, then the amateur amateur was King of the Cage Saboba. That was like your start off fights. Had a couple of smoker fights for Muay Thai, uh, and then from there we kind of just went with it and uh, was fighting professionally from there. Yeah. So I mean, it's cool that they have a chance to you know at least. Uh, you know, have some experience before they jump in the cage with more professional guys. Yeah. Now you're one of Strike Force's most exciting heavyweights. You have all your wins in, in the first round. I want to see it's the last time you fought was July, and I want to know when's your next fight coming up. Uh, we're hoping for early uh, end of January. Nothing set, but uh, I'm anxious to fight. It's been since July, like he said. So, so yeah, I can't fight once a year, you know. So I'm ready to go. I uh, hope Strike Force matches up so nice and uh, be ready. To go I'm ready to fight hard. I'm already starting to train. So end of January you'll see me soon. Yeah. Why such a long layoff, Shane? What's that? Why such a long layoff? Uh, it was a number of things, you know, uh, uh, people pulled out, I got injured, uh, we just opened a new gym, uh, timoyama.com, and uh, you know, there was a lot of distraction with that, you know, so it was good that we had that time off to focus on that, but now it's time to get back to what I do, and that's fighting, so I'm going to train hard, and we're going to get to go, uh, get ready to go January. Now, there was some rumors I heard a few months back that you were supposed to fight Andre Arlovski. Obviously, you're fighting in January. You haven't told me who you're fighting yet, but I wanted to know what. How did Arlovski all come up? Was that supposed to happen, and it did, did not just come through? Uh, you know, there's all there's is rumors always with me. I think, and there's always uh, potential fights. But you just gotta look at the heavyweights in my division and who's coming up next. I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna be fighting Verdum or Fader anytime soon. You know, for me, I'm still starting out. I'm uh, still up and coming. I want to get some more fights and then you know I mean those are a couple of guys that are you know in my radar very soon you know so I'm training hard I'm uh, stepping up I'm out of the Challenger Series getting ready to the big show so I'm obviously gonna have to fight uh, you know tougher guys so I'm training hard I'm getting ready to go you mentioned the top three heavyweights in the Strike Force heavyweight division. You mentioned Fabrizio Werdum, Fedor Emelianenko, oh, yeah. you know, and Alistair Overeem. Yeah. Out of those three fighters, who do you? Th oh, he's well, two. He's two. He's Overeem is two. He's big guy. Out of those three, who do you think is the better of those three? Uh, you know. I think Fedor, you know, is such a, a great fighter. Obviously, he lost the last. You got to give credit for Radum. You know, he he, uh, he had the opening and he took it, and uh, it was the greatest night of his life, definitely for sure. But uh, I think they're all great fighters. You know, I, my heart's with Fedor. I think he's a great fighter. But uh, Alex Silver, man, he's a, he's like another animal. He's so big, he's powerful. He's got stand up. He's got ground. He's got everything. You know, so he, he's gonna be a tough guy to deal with, definitely. So I got my I got a lot of work ahead of me. Definitely. <laughs> I wanted to see, you know, when you're matching up the Strike Force heavyweights, how do you think they compare to the UFC heavyweights? And more specific, those three guys I just listed, how do you think they would do against um, Cain Velasquez? Yeah, uh, Cain Velasquez is a very strong opponent. I mean, I think he's going to be a heavyweight champ for a while. You know, he's definitely earned his dues and he's very well rounded. But, I mean, those guys, Alex Rover and Fedor, they've been fighting for a long time in Pride and, you know, K1, a lot of organizations, you know. I mean, they're kind of seasoned veterans and seasoned champs, you know. So, I mean, yeah, you know, obviously none of that would ever happen. I don't think those guys would fight each other, but it'd be a good fight. You know, Cain Velasquez got a long way to go. He's very young, got a lot of skill. So, I mean, in a few years, he will be a lot better than I'm sure, you know, because people are going out as they get older. But, uh, you know, I mean, those are fights that will probably never happen because you'll, you'll never know, you know, politics, whatever it is, you know. Yeah. I know you were brought in to come in to prepare Brock Lesnar for Cain Velasquez. That camp was very secretive, and I, I wanted to know yep. when you were in that camp, what was the game plan that Brock was working for for Kane? Uh, you know, actually, I, I couldn't make it for the early part of the camp, so I, I showed up at the end. I was there probably for the two weeks before they went out to uh, California, and by then everything was kind of toned down, and 
you know, I kind of worked with him like one day stand up, you know, and I wasn't, uh, you know, told about any kind of strategy or anything like that. It was very private, like he said. You know, we had group training, training for like an hour, and after that, you know, everyone had to go and do their own thing, you know. But, you know, Brock Lesnar is an athlete. That's number one. He's an athlete, and that goes a long way in the sport, definitely. You know, he only has a few fights, so I'm sure with more training, uh, he'll be back fighting again.